bad if we didn't. Dude, it's so cool that Luffy had a tiny straw hat in the last chapter. That was really funny. That's like our that. that's our opening this time. That they were we're Luffy starting. Luffy had a tiny straw hat. He yeah, did. Luffy. He did have it's a like, tiny straw like, hat. It's like Gear Four, but bigger. It is like Gear Four, but bigger. All right, now uh, I, I want to start off with this one just because it'd make for a funny thumbnail. And also, Ohara just said this in one of his videos with complete confidence, and it made me mad. Sanji's not a fucking Lunarian. Oh my god. Ah, oh, it like ah. Oh, there's you, you know what the real reason I'm doing this? I'm gonna make a copy pasta. And if, if you're if you're a real fan of Evil Puff, you will take this copy pasta oh, no, okay. in the description of this video, and you will and you will apply it to every time you see a video or a comment that says Sanji Lunarian, or even that if even if they like just try and cheekily imply he might be an alien of some sort, or if he has, he has he has cosmic powers, because that's another thing. Like this is an actual thing we didn't talk about. Uh, in one SBS, Oda jokes about Sanji having cosmic powers because his eyebrows are swirled and the universe spins. And some people take that literally no, no, enough to said, make... No, no, he says it's uh, the sun and the moon uh, rotate in a spiral. Everything is a spiral. And then yes, like, yes, Yo. yes. Yes, and there's like a 30-minute Joy Boy video about it. There was like this recent theory we saw that was about it. It's like, oh, god damn it. I hate these people. Stop talking. I I oh, literally can I can't it. trust oh. any of these people to talk about Sanji. I can't. No, no, and it makes just, me upset. Just, no, no. To defend Ohara, he didn't do the unhinged spiral eyebrow theory. He did the boring, lame, normal Lunarian theory. Just that is clarify. true. Yeah. Uh, he did say it as a fact though, because it was in his. I feel like, like he put that as rage bait for like me no, and he people like. No, did because Ohara Ohara is like very good at metagaming. You. Yeah, he is. That's how he made it to the top. Like his god awful power scaling videos, which oh, yeah. turned. Every single thing he says wrong, he says wrong on purpose. Pre time skip Luchi is as strong as post time skip Fusu. There's no way he actually thinks that. <laughs> well, why not, man? I mean, Shinbei's roughly as strong as pre time skip Robly. <laughs> I mean, I also think he would also beat Rob Luchi in like three or two hits. <laughs> uh, he beat pre time skip Luchi in one hit. <laughs> Uh, okay. Now with that out of the way, let's let's get to some wait, real stuff. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna see exactly what he says about the Lunarian thing. I'll right. find it. I guess right here. But it wasn't until Wano that we learned the truth. <laughs> oh my God! Stop! <laughs> we didn't learn anything. See, Sanji's Sanji and his siblings are genetically modified to be stronger. True. Lunarian Sanji was made to be stealth black. Lunarians can't know. turn invisible. No, no, Puff. What we didn't know was that Sanji's DNA was mixed with a special race known as the Lunarians. When did we learn that? Queen says, I know you're not a Lunarian. You must be a germ of science freak, and which he kind of was turning into. But also Diablo Jambay has nothing to do with that. Because Judge saw it, mm -hmm. said, oh, yeah, new we failure. Don't, we, don't need, no, we, don't know, we don't need to actually say anything else. Cause... God, Kinemon's a Lunarian. He must he must be like a quarter Lunarian because that's he, how he gets fire powers. You, th you, you think back to remember in like the Zoro versus King fight when Zoro like uh, like attacked King's like you know he used like the lion song attack on his forehead and then it's like snapped King's neck and then King gets like whirl his head back into place like a weird zombie man like how no. Sanji did because no though the durability works differently and it works <laughs> with the fire there's, there's like rules to how they can use their fire and how yeah, their no, speed and durability right. that it's, Sanji it's ignores because he's not a lunar hero. It's dumb. I, All right, I hate what's people. Next? Uh, Next, okay, there's actually this good video. Uh, I forget the the exact name. I'm going to look it up real quick. Another video? Have I seen this one? No, no, this is a good one. I think I told you about the one about, like, uh, Skypea and uh, oh, colonialism. Oh, the colonization one? Yeah, uh, hold on. I'm going to have to see if I can yeah, find it. Yeah, I haven't it. seen this yet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the Anti-Colonialism of One Piece from Lost Futures. That's the name of it. I'll link it in the description. It's Lost actually this Futures. is a, this is a pretty good cool video. But he says this, but he says a thing about my uh, one of my favorite characters, and I'm like, no, don't call my favorite character problematic. Please don't call Nolan problematic. And it made me mad because uh, I just got touchy when he called a character oh, I like problematic. This channel. <laughs> yeah. I watched ten minutes of their Attack on Titan uh, fascism video and was like, okay. This seems neat. I'm gonna stop watching though because I haven't actually seen Attack on Titan. I was just mm. curious about a couple of things. Yeah. Okay. So like basically, what he said was that uh, no one was problematic because like he's like a like a 
he's too positive a depiction of someone like Columbus or like a Columbus analog, which like uh. Wait, he's not. I th- that sounds very American. The thing, yeah, the thing is, it's kind of like if you were gonna draw like a real comparison to anyone, then like that is kind of who you'd want to do it too. But also like. I think clearly, well, no, like, no, all the bad like, shit no. about colonization was, like, given to, like, the kings and, like, the Skypeans, like, you know, the, the god who was in that flashback, you mm-hmm. know, on Skypea. So, like, the bad things are acknowledged, and, like, uh, Nolan's just supposed to be, like, this, this spirit of adventure, because this is, like, an adventure manga. Like, he's like Luffy. He wants to find something new for the sake of it. So, like, that's yeah. why he's not, like, a big problematic man. At least not as problematic as, like, the king he works for. Yeah, but I, I do think seeing just an explorer and, like, immediately being, aha, that is columbus is like eh, that's kind of america brain because like yeah if you were american and you heard about a cool explorer who mentioned a bunch of natives you'd be like yo that's columbus but like does japan have that <laughs> uh that's actually the thing this was actually a, like a good point in the video where he said like okay i might like be wrong like reading too much americano into this because uh you know like oda's from japan he the, japan i think has its own version of a. Uh, first nations or something or it such. does yeah and the then uh, and then also like he says like oh but the and the shandians like sort of drawn search from like aztecs sometimes or like other cultures so like the th- really just based on like five groups yeah so it's like so like me drawing parallels to like you know this one specific place in history might be like a little too much which, like, yeah, that's the best fair. way to shout out this channel is to nitpick the one thing we didn't like. <laughs> yeah, no, no, listen, they're cool. It's good video. If you like One Piece stuff, you can go watch their One Piece stuff. It's good. It's just this is one point where it was like, no, don't call Nolan problematic. I like Nolan. <laughs> I mean, he is, but also his crew, uh, I feel like his crew uh, exemplifies the problems better. Where they kind of just, like, ignore what the Shandians want and then had to leave because they pissed them off. <laughs> yeah uh so uh anyway next is uh dude isn't it kind of crazy that the spoiler guys got arrested that is fucking wild i know like on one hand like it's like cool i don't care about spoilers okay no here's the thing uh being the most selfish man on the planet this only benefits me yeah. But, like, actually talking about it, it's like, that's a crazy reason to get arrested. That is absurd. <laughs> that is a crazy reason to get arrested. Like, on one hand, it's like, f- it's fucked up. This can actually happen. But also, from my perspective, this is only good news. Because now I don't have to worry about being spoiled. Uh, maybe this will encourage people to stop doing spoilers so entirely. Uh, we are benefiting from a bad thing happening. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, look at the bright are, side. We are, we are directly benefiting from a not good thing yeah. happening. Just look at the bright side. Yeah. <laughs> all right next up whitebeard is a coward and a liar for not avenging odin yeah, why did he ma- why did he odin. march up to Wa- why didn't he march up to wano and fight kaido in like in a the million 20- reasons well name one yeah but you can't name a single good reason he didn't know what the fuck was happening okay but like he learned later with ace like after ace tells him like, why is he just like, ah, oh, we're going to go to war now because for things that happened 15 years ago? Odin was already dead. Okay, sure, but, like, you know, like, you mess with one of Whitebeard's men and, like, he decides, like, alright. He had been dead for years. Uh, the thing the thing is, uh, the way I would phrase it is more like, uh, Whitebeard didn't, like, have to go fight him. Because, like, oh, if you mess with anything under Whitebeard, you he'll come after you. Is because Odin like left Whitebeard's crew of his own accord. Yeah, like one. Yeah, Odin was. Kind so of like his own the guy. thing is, so like the thing is, like if say Kaido attacked an island that was like being protected by Whitebeard, then Whitebeard would kind of have to go to war just so like yes, not even you, Kaido, can mess with anything under my protection. Mm-hmm. But uh, because this was an incident from years past, and like uh, uh Odin left intentionally. Also, yeah, it's not like, like it's not like Whitebeard's reputation was at stake or anything like that. So like he could just like either I can drag us into a war over a thing that like you know happened way in the past or i can just like leave it be because odin wasn't like a part of my thing he left of his own accord yada yada well, not like yeah, I, I, I imagine white Boot would have loved to avenge odin more than anything yeah. but because well, like listen i'd rather like, like not go to war and drag all my kids into yeah, that yeah, like, if well, i can let's avoid pretend it pretend that it also uh, let's pretend that like instead of him finding out like what like 20 years later uh, let's pretend he found out like like, he saw it happen on TV, like, the day of. Yeah, he'd go Storm Wano. <laughs> he'd go Storm Wano the second he saw that. 
kind of just like, you know, uh, Odin's his own man. He's just Whitebeard's bro. And, like, yeah, it's been 20 fucking years. <laughs> but, like, Dude, they went to fight, they went to save Ace. Why is Ace any different than Odin? It wasn't 20 years. Ace was literally about to die. If yeah, he no. learned that Odin was about to be executed, then, yeah, I bet he'd show up for that. Yeah, like, I think the difference is, like, from Whitebeard's perspective, either he drags his kids into a war over a dead man who died 20 years ago, who, like, willingly left his protection, mm -hmm. or he just leaves it be and, uh, you know, saves his war for another day. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know, not the worst decision in the world. I guess, to be honest, I think this is a perfectly fine, like, question to ask, because, no, like, I on one hand... I think it's a fine question to ask, but I feel like the answer is... Like, pretty easy to get to. Yeah, I, the thing is, I understand, like, the emotions behind it. We're like, oh, man, yeah. Whitebeard's so cool. Why didn't he do the cool guy thing and help his bro Odin? Like, I get it. It's fine. Yeah. Completely empathize with the position. Mm-hmm. Hey, now, dude, we gotta talk about how uh, Emu has the Renegon and uh, Mihawk oh, has the Renegon. Oh, my fucking god. Okay, so, uh, Shocker, our, uh, our critique to this is the obvious one, which is, okay... What do you mean critique so, to this? I mean, it's just... So, it's just... You can, so you could say that Eam, uh, Zunisha, and Mihawk all have the eyes. It's like, oh, this because they're it's special. A... It's like, okay, you know who else gets those eyes? Like, not, not even gets, because some people will get them temporarily. You know who always has those eyes? Monette. Karibu. And Karibu, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, you have some special fucking theory about it. Uh, no, no, dude, dude, I do. I do have a special theory about it. In Naruto, they had the Renegon, and it was, like, supposed mm -hmm. to represent, like, some Buddhist, like, mumbo-jumbo that I don't understand. Samsara uh -huh. or something. So, like, I think anyone who has that in any Japanese piece of media, the the ring dies, must also be some uh, a Buddhist mumbo-jumbo. Like, I think in the recent Joy Boy video, he, he said his explanation was... Anyone who has those eyes was, like, what, connected to, like, anger or something? Even though Karibu just has them 24-7, or Karibu, and Monet has them, I think, 24-7, and, and, like, our introduction... And Cavendish like, gets it whenever he turns into Hakuba? No, it's when he... It's, it's when he's fighting against Hakuba. Right, yeah. Because when it's just Hakuba, his eyes go white. <laughs> right, yeah. It's just, like, guys, uh... Calm down. Uh, I'm gonna blow your mind with this. Maybe some of the characters are just drawn with that pattern. Because Impossible. Are you cool. calling Oda a hack writer? Are you calling no, Oda just... a hack mangaka no. because he didn't no. put a 10,000 IQ foreshadowing into his character designs? No, it's just like sometimes characters can just have cool eye patterns. That's fine. It's not fine. It's gotta okay. be some. There's gotta be something think, up with it. I think that's fine. In Danganronpa 2, the main character's eyes are literally crosshairs. Because, like, Danganronpa is about shooting down arguments with, like, a fake gun. So his <laughs> eyes are crosshairs. That's not that complicated. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, Fire Force. Almost every fucking Hey, but, like, dude, dude, trust me, trust me, dude. Eyes. Dude, trust me. Luffy's eyes turned pink, and that means he's, like, uh, developing the stages of early Samsara because his eyes turned a different color. Wait, what the fuck was that series I was watching? There's some series I was watching recently that also had a lot of weird eyes. I don't remember. SAO. <laughs> was it? No, I don't remember. Yeah, you know, Fuck Kyoto me. gets his yellow eyes whenever he <laughs> no, you know, cheats God, the system. No, God eyes is Kino. The thing, I remember, I do remember it's bad or whatever. If I remember, I'll, I'll like put it in the comments and be like, hey, I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> okay, so another thing about Caribou. Is that people, this is like Parallel Bros coming back from the woodwork. It's a, like, a Caribou is Bartol oh, right. a Bartolomeo hey, to... To yeah. be fair, there is a chance we are wrong, but I really doubt it. <laughs> yeah, and I really doubt it too because uh, Caribou's a kiss-ass. Like, he, kiss out, he kissed Luffy's ass, and Wano was like, please take me on your ship, big bro Luffy. I'll get you some food. Yeah, we're basically uh, I'll help second, you out, big bro Luffy. You're the best the big bro Luffy. Most, yeah, in the second most recent chapter... Uh, Caribou, finally, finally le uh, leveraging his uh, his ancient weapon knowledge, is like, hey, yo, Augur, Devin, take me with you. Uh, and then he's like, wait, uh, Blackbeard's the one who inspired me to go to sea. Which, first of all, do I even believe that? Did Caribou only go to sea? Too? I think he, he went to sea pretty recently. 
Uh, it's been my lifelong dream to be one of Master Blackbeard Teach's goons. Please, you gotta let me see him in person. I'm begging you. And people thought he was being serious, which I guess is possible, but I don't fucking believe him. <laughs> It's fucking uh, Garbu. He's a liar. He lies. That's what he does. No, he is a he's a wheezy little liar. And you know what is like kind of funny to imagine? What? I think like him versus Baruto would be a pretty hype fight. <laughs> it would. <laughs> he tries to absorb Baruto's barrier into his fucking pocket dimension. <laughs> <laughs> like Bartolome tries to like 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 punch him or like squash him with his barrier. It's like what's not working? I don't have hockey. <laughs> I can't beat him. It's like literally like two immovable objects just like floating around each other. <laughs> yeah, where it's like, uh, it's entirely possible that Karabu is actually a teach stand, but it's just like based off of everything we know about his characterization, it's more likely he's just a fucking liar. Like I, like until I saw people believing him, I didn't even realize that was a reading because I just automatically assumed, oh, Karabu doing Karabu things, lying through his fucking teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What a little guy. I'm so glad he's making his way up in the world. <laughs> yeah, proud of him. All right, uh, next is... Uh, this is a, this is a very important thing about Zoro's character. Now, everyone knows that, like, you know this, I know this. Zoro follows the Bushido code to a T. Absolutely. Okay. It's, so it's like, like his life. It's his very soul is Bushido, and he believes in all the tenets of Bushido. Because so he's such a Mr. Bush uh, Vivi in Alabasta called so him Mr. Bushido, which means that thing. he lives by Bushido. So here's the thing. Zoro does, in fact, not follow Bushido. <laughs> well, no. What do you mean? He's like, uh, he's honorable. But he's not. He, Zoro is not particularly honorable. No, I mean, he is. I and mean, he cares about protecting the weak. He cares about... No, he doesn't. Uh, no, he, he doesn't. He, he cares about upholding social order. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He cares about, like, gratitude okay, okay, and wait, Puff, manners let's, let's and respect. Se no, Puff, let's do the seven virtues of Bushido, right? All right. Uh, integrity. I guess Zoro's got pretty good integrity. Respect. Zoro. <laughs> no. I guess uh, he respects some people. <laughs> everyone respects some people. Uh, and it mentions, like, uh, cruel, like, how you shouldn't be cruel. Zoro is comedically cruel at times. Holy shit. Yeah, he kind of is. Uh, uh, courageous. He is courageous. Great job, Zoro. Honor. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, I mean... I mean... I mean... He's honorable in his sword duels, I guess. But, like, isn't that what's important? That he's honorable except, except in his for, sword except duels? For, except for when he fought Pika. Oh, yeah, there's also no, compassion. Pe Zoro's not compassionate at all. Holy shit. I don't know. Maybe I think I think like on a good day, Zoro will help like a like a passerby being attacked by bandits or whatever. Yeah, but he's also like, but like compassionate is like he's not. He's a dick. Zoro's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And, and then loyalty. Yeah, that's one Zoro actually has. Yay! Yay! So guys, Vivi called Zoro Mr. Bushido. To, if we want to be funny about it, because she's technically racist, which is funny. She's just like, oh, you you like a samurai from Wano. You follow the Bushido code. <laughs> Whereas, like, he doesn't actually follow it. And it makes sense. He Because if Zoro, like, the, the closest thing Zoro is to any samurai is a fucking ronin. <laughs> that is true. I mean, remember, guys, remember, he's a pirate, not like a, yeah. like a, like a, I don't even, I, I'm trying like to, I, cringe, I, I don't want to like, say marine, I don't want to say, yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say like a marine or something, but like that didn't seem quite right. Yeah, no, yeah, because most samurai, or at least like the strong ones, were like the high-ranking, well-trained nobles, or like noble defenders, yeah. whereas ninja were based farmers. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just like, remember guys, Zoro doesn't really care about upholding social order and social status that much, yeah. which was pretty important for samurai, I think. Yeah, just just a lot of aspects. It's just like just like Zoro... even like even like part of the Lord thing. Doesn't that always come from like ah oh, the Lord you are like born under or whatever is like yeah you're, where it's, you're where it's be like, all yeah, Whereas like Zoro is loyal to is... Luffy, but comparing Zoro's relationship to Luffy to the way samurai are supposed to be loyal to their uh, like Lord master is fucked. 
Yeah, because, again, like, Zoro, like, just found Luffy, like, you know, out in the world and just said, oh, you're a cool guy, I'll make yeah, you my captain. Yeah, it's like, I guess he's Luffy's vassal the way the Scabbards are Odin's vassal, but the point is, o the way Odin picked his vassals was bizarre. Yeah, like, like you know, most of of people just like, ah, oh, yes, I'm in the court, yeah, and like my grandfather has Odin appointed me a retainer. Yeah, like Odin, like everyone thought it was weird that Odin just gathered his favorite homeless kids and turned them into his retainers. Everyone thought that was a, a weird call on his part. <laughs> so yeah, just, uh, uh, Zoro doesn't actually follow the codes of Busha. He, you could say he embodies some aspects of it because, you know, he, Oda, Oda does like his samurai tropes, but like, he clearly isn't meant to actually follow Bushido. You know? No, I don't think so. Okay, now this next one is a, it's kind of a weird one. Uh, it's the Oni tribe, because on one hand, like it's it, it's 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 kind of like I don't basically we don't think that's a thing. Yeah, like it's kind of because like I I can totally understand if like it's it, it's weird because like Big Big Mom says that like she's missing three races in Totland, right? Which is a uh, giants, uh, which we already knew. Yeah, giants. And then we meet uh, Lunarians with King. Yeah, and, and, and Egghead, and the, we meet Buccaneers. Yeah, and Buccaneers. Whereas, the weird thing about the Oni tribe is you see it applied to weird groups. You see it applied to Kaido and Yamato, because Kaido outright says they are Oni. Okay, but well, then you see yeah. it applied to Ors and Little Ors Jr., who Oda says are abnormally large giants. He says that in SBS. Yeah. And then uh, you also see it sometimes applied to people like Magellan and Hannibal, which are just okay, humans are with horns. Where it's like... You Moria is not an Oni. Already crossed Moria races, is right? not an like, Oni. Like, what? Moria is not an Oni. Yeah. That's no, weird, because it's like, you got Moria and, like, Hannibal, who are humans. And then you got Ors, who's a, he's a, he's a type of giant. All right, like, Just like the like, Yeti yeah. Cool Brothers are a type of giant. Yeah, the thing is, like, let's say that Oni, the Oni, like, race is, like, completely 100% canon. You can only say that Yamato and Kaido are Oni. Like, you can't, like, yeah. concretely say anyone else's. Yeah, or it's like, unfortunately. It's like, oh, if the race isn't real, then what was Kaido talking about? It's like, I think Kaido meant you are an Oni, as in Kaido was called the Oni growing up. No, because, like, cause like again, like, Oni is kind of just like know, a... Yamato is his, his kid. <laughs> like, you know, Oni, like, I think, I get it's like a specific type of demon, but it could also just mm -hmm. be, like, a general term for demon, too, right? Yeah. Or am I wrong also, about like that? The, also, the idea of like, be the Oni that. being rejected by the people is yeah. like, uh, is that that, that, that gives real uh, uh, teal mask DLC vibe? <laughs> no, like uh, I, I was even like the most famous Oni stories, like the blue and the red Oni, right? Where like the like literally like they're Which outcasts. Like, no, Dory and Broggy. Yeah, like they're like ah, oh, they're outcasts and uh, no one likes them. So that like you know, oh, there's the, more. Yeah, the, and then like there's... the red oni like pretends to like get beaten up by the blue oni, yeah. and then the blue oni's like a hero, and then suddenly gets to rejoin society while the red oni still is lonely and sad. Like yeah. that's the story about onis that like they're lonely and sad and they want and like that kind of applies to Kaido and Yamato. Yamato wants to be with the samurai and the people of Wano, and Kaido's like, no, don't do that. You're an oni. Stop being cringe. Bam. I love you, my trans son. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, yeah, like like Dory and Bragi are also called Oni. They're called the Blue Oni and the Red Oni. They're yeah, called ogres true. in the fucking English. That it's 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 Oni in the in the Japanese. Yeah. Where it's like Oni just seems to be like a thing that you're called. Yeah. And, and it's again, like, yeah, like and Kaido was discriminated because of that, and because o and because Yamato is uh, strong as fuck like him, not as strong as he was, but strong as fuck. He's like, yeah, Yamato. Also, because uh, Wano people uh, might hate Yamato because of the things he did. He's like, yeah, yeah everyone's going to fucking hate you because uh, you're the son of an Oni. Yeah. You get fucked. So it's like, yeah. <clears throat> pretty, pretty simple. Well, I guess, I mean, like, not be, simple it because, like, it is be, very misleading, I think. No, it could It could later be revealed to be a race, but it's just, like, based off of what we know, uh, we already know all the races. Uh, although what Chas said as a joke is, uh, it's going to be the Pell flying devil fruit thing all over again. We have four more races, <laughs> uh, yeah. which would be funny as hell. <laughs> that would be funny if like Big Mom just doesn't know Buccaneers exist at all. So like maybe, maybe that's love, possible. If maybe there, no, if there's any race Big Mom hasn't heard of at all, it would be Buccaneers. Uh, so maybe that's it, and that like uh, you know, she, when yeah. she was talking but about like Oni, if she can't find Oni, they have to be uh. 
it has to only be Kaido and Yamato. Because if Oni includes fuckers like Hannibal and Moria, how the hell has she not gotten anyone yet? <laughs> yeah, and also, I, I know some people like to, like, say, like, uh, a lot of his underlings because they also had horns. But also, like, a bunch of their horns were, like, just, like, a uh, little tacked on. Like, literally, like, when the crew, when Kinemon disguises people as beast pirates, he gives them fake horns. Like, that's, like, yeah. most of the beast pirates, they have fake horns. And then, oh, uh, Caesar has fucking goat horns. No. Yeah, and or like, but the thing is, like, even among the flying six, we don't know who has fake horns and who just has horns. That is true. I mean, I think Maria's he seems pretty could... fucking real. I know that uh, page one, he just has a hat. It just his yeah. hat has horns, yeah, and like, does. even when he transforms into his hybrid form, he has no horns whatsoever. But then it's funny because his sister Ulti, uh, her horns look very real. <laughs> yeah, but like because they're brother and sister, and he doesn't we have horns, assume... you can assume. Yeah, but then, like, Maria's look super real. Sasaki's probably are, but that's because he's, like, a fish man. Yeah. I think he... Is Sasaki a fish man? Is that even confirmed? Oh, shit, right? Like, we don't know. I forgot. We don't actually know what Sasaki is. Maybe a recent SBS confirmed it? Mm, I don't know. Oh, I, I remember how surprised I was when I saw he had human skin in the, in the manga. That actually sh fucking shocked me. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, no, he is a fish man. He's a unicorn fish fish man. Yo, that's pretty cool. That That's a cool fish. Now, talking about fishermen, uh, someone just asked us to talk about Fukuboshi because he's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, they said he's kind of like the wiper of his arc, which uh, is fair. That is true. He's not, he's not as cool as wiper, but like no, none of the wiper equivalents are as cool as wiper, except for maybe Kairos. I do like Kairos and wiper. And like the thing is about Fukuboshi, I don't like think he's as cool, but also... He's just he has the, a great scene. There's no, that one scene. That scene is like the most is the scene that most consistently makes me cry whenever I read it. Mm -hmm. Like just like hearing he Fukus talk like uh, when you're ready to join us again in our dreams of the sun, I just start tear like I, I'm even now starting to tear up a bit just thinking about it. Like oh my god, what a good scene, what good dialogue. Fukuboshi's just so like, cool. Fukuboshi's cool, and he gets underrated because he's in the Fishman Island arc, and also because <sighs> he has a lot of interactions with Hody and people. Uh, I think the reason he's underrated is because, like, uh, he doesn't have, like, a cool 1v1 fight. So, like, people no, like, don't... They, they, he doesn't stick in memory as much as, like, Wiper that's, or... Uh, that's not that impressive. Yeah, it's just, like, uh, Fukuboshi's neat. I like a lot of his stuff. I like his brothers, too, even though all they do is do their really stupid bit. But I love their stupid bit. And then it's revealed the stupid bit is because they're great siblings, and that makes it wholesome. Yeah, it is wholesome. Yeah. All right, now, all right. next one... Uh, I guess this kind of has to do with the eyes thing we were talking about before with the joke I had where are you calling Oda a hack writer? Because planning is everything. If we don't know, it, like, it's kind of like a thing where people seem almost more obsessed about, like, whether or not the author plans something as to... Oh, yeah. uh, Morge literally had that where he's like, sure, Black Clover isn't great, but at least the author clearly had it planned out. Or just like, fuck you. It's not even why Black Clover is good. Black Clover is good because Noel rocks and asta rock <laughs> uh, i guess it's just the thing where just like uh just because it's planned out like it like doesn't mean it was like like it's it can be interesting to know what was planned and what wasn't but no, like when, th you, when you're thinking about like i don't think that uh i don't think that is it like has no bearing on the quality it has no bearing on the quality of the yeah, story like I like if you told me because uh like like uh i don't know like uh the we never learn ending is terrible Whether it was planned from the beginning or if they decided that literally like 10 minutes before they wrote the chapter, it is equally bad either way. <laughs> When they decided to do that doesn't change how bad that ending oh is. Oh my god. A five volume long ending and it just oh, gets it's just terrible. Most cowardly thing in the world. So oh. yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it just uh It's, it's, it's kind it's of just, a, I, I think, think it's like it's a thing like, where it's, it's, it's in. I think the problem is because it's impressive. Yeah, it can be. It's impressive. very easy to be like, oh, it's so good. Or it's like, yeah, it's like it's the whole oh. go to thing where just like ah, oh, go to plan this thing and it paid mm -hmm. off 20 years later. Like it's happening with Kirby right now. He planned that like 10 years ago, which is cool. Kirby, yeah, he did. He did set up that that uh, Caribou knew these things, and then Caribou kind of just was always around. And when he disappeared, he came back because he's a king, and yeah. I love him. I think the thing that uh, bothers me the most is like I'll get a comment like this sometimes, where it's like <laughs> some One Piece fans act like uh, Oda planned everything from the start, and then they'll leave us no context on under one of my videos, and like you know, 
Anyone who like actually knows my channel or like the side channel here knows that I'm always like, guys, Oda didn't play in this or that. Just stop being weird. So like, yes. I, 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 I think it's more like, like, it, like this is under my Gear 5 video where I just say like, this is how Gear 5 retroactively makes early parts of the story cooler or whatever. Mm -hmm. and I think they got, they got confused and said, and thought that I thought Oda planned Gear 5 from like uh -huh. chapter one or whatever, or like when, or chapter 500, whatever the hell, I don't know. When... Like, you can introduce something and it can retroactively just, like, work with other stuff you wrote. Like, it's kind of how a lot of the stuff works and why One Piece works so well is that it can just build on top of itself. Like, even right, if, uh, even if like, while I talk to someone, I'll be like, guys, Oda didn't have Gear 5 planned until, like, uh, like a bajillion chapters ago. He didn't. But also, if you hear me talk about the story as if Gear 5 is, like, an idea that exists 500 chapters ago... It's like, yeah, I will, because that's just what the story is now. So the story has Nika now. Nika is canon to the One Piece story. Therefore, I'll talk a about it as if Nika was always there, even though he was only planned, like, you know, however, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. He was just planned to be sometime. I'll never know until Oda says so. Oda yeah. says when. It's like, yeah. eh, it's, uh, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, next, we got, uh... Uh, two things about theories that is kind of a trend. Uh, mm -hmm. Either saying that every ability must be some strand of hockey, and two, when they'll use a theory to prove another theory, which is just funny. The, these aren't trends. These are both ancient. They are. It's like, are theory proofs theory is as stupid as it sounds, and if you have seen more than five theory videos on YouTube, you've seen it. It's when someone, as evidence for their theory, brings up another theory. Sometimes it can be like, fan consensus as a theory for example like yeah. we all assume the gorosei are hundreds of years old but we technically don't know that that's yeah. one is more like that's fine or like so sometimes people will bring up like okay we all like collectively agree that shanks is very likely to die at the end of the story therefore uh, if that's the case then they go into their mm -hmm. theory or whatever. but those are the more acceptable ones where it's like yeah that's a their assumption other times people would be like yeah so uh law is definitely a part of sword if you want to get that check out my other video anyway because law is a part of sword that means kuzan is obviously shanks's spy <laughs> 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 just shit like that he is very funny it's just like it's, it's no and then the uh, the other one is uh hockey this has been around forever i remember people back in the true. day used to say maybe dragons win powers are hockey which is basically uh, everything is hockey. We're not allowed to have fun. Uh, fire powers, uh, those are hockey. No, I remember that was like, no, 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 no. The what fire powers, is... fire. All fire powers are lunarian based now. No, no, like, no. That's what's his what fucking name? What's his fucking name? Parvision. Parvision. Parvision has like his infinitely ongoing series about how uh, all powers, uh, all de no, all devil fruits are um, training wheels for hockey. Yeah. Like, anything you can do with a devil fruit, you could do with hockey if you were cracked enough. Oh. And it's like, oh, uh, fucking Electro and Fishman Karate and fucking Diablo Jambe. Fire Powers. That's all, that's all actually, uh, that's all actually, uh, hot. Dude, actually Zoro hockey made a tornado. Powers. Zoro made a tornado with the sword. He did. That must be that's hockey. hockey powers. That's how hockey powers work. Yeah. Just shit like that. Just. People use it for, like, everything, and sometimes it does kind of just, like, baffle you. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, I see where it comes from, because One Piece is, like, a goofy setting where, like, characters can just, like, have weird abilities and, like, or, like, whatever. And, like, you know, if you're a big super nerd fan of something, it's kind of natural to want to explain away, like, or, or like, understand the lore and all that. So, like, maybe you'll come up with these theories to try and, like, justify some things in your own head. But, like, at the same time, just, like, dude... One Piece is, is just a very goofy, is very similitude, very loose with its powers. It'll just, like, do crap like that. Right. I don't even remember what the most recent video we saw about someone saying a power was hockey. Mm. There's, no, there's so too many. Weird. Too many. There's too many. Everything's fucking hockey. It has to be. It can't be anything else. We're not allowed to have fun. No, no. fun allowed. No fun. I hate the fun police. All right. And, uh, dude, did you know that people in cold countries don't sleep? This is a quote by Oda. Holy sh- Okay, no, that's the thing. A lot of people, when making theories about Blackbeard, will say, Oda once said, people in cold countries don't sleep. No, Oda didn't say that. What, you think Oda's a fucking idiot? Luffy said that. 
because Luffy's a fucking moron. Because he's fucking... In that scene, he and Sanji are having the dumbest banter of their life. They where are. Luffy's like, did you know people in cold countries don't sleep? Because if they sleep, they'll freeze to death. And Sanji's like, hey, dumbass, that's not true. Anyway, did you know that women in cold countries have silky smooth skin? Because they have to keep rubbing their arms to not fucking freeze to death. They're both <laughs> being fucked. Because here's the thing. If you're going to do the whole, oh, Blackbeard not sleeping is cold country thing. It's like, okay. Does Blackbeard also have silky smooth skin? <laughs> Dude, maybe he I'd does. If he did, that'd be an awesome. No, no, no. Idea. Only women have silky smooth skin. The men don't. Mm-hmm. I think the only reveal, even then, that's kind of funny. It's like the joke is, and then the the first woman we meet in the cold country who's like important is literally Kareha. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I think yeah, it's only, fine if you. I think the only half decent theory I've heard about the whole oh cold country not sleeping thing is that. Uh, Shanks was taught Shanks knew Blackbeard was from a cold country and knew he didn't sleep and he told Kid Luffy oh yeah I knew a guy from a cold country who couldn't sleep and Kid Luffy being the dumbest man alive heard that and thought oh people from cold countries don't sleep (laughs) (laughs) like if it's just that that would be funny as fuck but it's just like you could make theories using that cold country line as foreshadowing but it's always weird how people treat it as like this big crazy line where it's like it was part of the dumbest banter on the planet i'm begging you if you include the cold country not sleeping thing please include the silky smooth skin thing because what's funny is what sanji said while stupid is the less dumb of the two statements (laughs) (laughs) yeah it kind of is so uh speaking of uh goofy stuff did you know that gear five ruins the tone oh my fucking uh... okay fact Gear 5 fights have a different tone than other fights because Gear 5 is funny. True. Lie. Yeah. Gear 5 can... Wow, in Gear 5... We'll never get a serious fight again. It's all it's cool all gags serious. and gaffs and giggles no, from here on out. Also, the one time he was serious, the only time, only ever once, was uh, when he punched Kaido and that was cheating because that wasn't Gear 5 energy. Luffy having a giant but not even funny is like gear three already looks first of all let's get that out of the way gear three looks stupid you people understand that right Luffy looks dumb when he uses what no what no anyway so gear three already looks dumb and then you have the then you have fucking Bajron gun where it's Luffy and he and he has this giant like fucking island sized hand can do his dumb little body and I think the anime makes it even funnier where when you're watching part of you is like how is Luffy even punching right now you know, like, <laughs> I think, I think, like, I think the, I, the, the thing, wind the thing that I think is funny about it is like the way his arm like has to go up and like around <laughs> like, arts it looks so fucking stupid it's funny Bajrangan yeah. looks funny it's a funny looking attack. Yeah, and also, like, like the thing is, I remember, like, uh, when Gear 5 first came out, like, uh, one guy was like, dude, like, this is actual, like, you know, Looney Tunes garbage. Like, what what was this doing in my One Piece? I'm like, God, you know where Gear 3 comes from, right? Like, Gear 3's Tom and Jerry. I literally had to show him, like, that ancient meme of, like, ah, Tom and Jerry did Gear 3 first of, like, the guy, like, blowing into his thumb to make a big hand. And, and, like, it blew his mind, like, what the hell? That's a that's a Looney Tunes thing. I'm like, yes, blowing yeah, yeah, air into your body to make it bigger yeah. is a Looney Tunes thing. So it's just like, yeah, no, Tom and yeah, Tom, wow, shocking. It's Tom and Jerry. Yeah, it's baffling. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but like, dude, if Luffy's face always has a smile on it, how am I supposed to take anything seriously ever again? People, th- that's that's not something anyone actually believes. People have Luffy has had but serious do, smiles in the past. Everyone knows this. He said, like, I'm going to punch you in the face, Smiles. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. And then also, this is a small thing. Generally, Morge's video about the tone thing was, like, okay. Because he was, like, debunking a lot of dumb shit about, like, people pretending nothing changed. Which felt like him, like, sh- ha- putting out his shower arguments he had with, like, two people on Twitter. No, like, but obviously, Gear 5 feels different than Year 4 and Year yeah, 2. Obviously, obviously. I don't think anyone genuinely thinks it doesn't. But then also, uh, he made a couple weird points. The weirdest one... Is he said comedy and uh, tension are always opposites. Comedy can only cut tension. They can never exist at the same time, which to me is fucking stupid. What the fu- what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you know, to like again, like while he said this, like you know, I just finished reading uh, *Le Cirque de Katakuri*, right? Mm-hmm. 
Um, and, uh, like, in it, like, you know, the villains are, like, like these robotic clowns. They're, they're very scary and all that. And in one scene, the, this lady has to watch her son's head being juggled by a clown on one hand. Yeah. I could say, what a ridiculous thing to illustrate. I love this page. It's so funny. But also, mm-hmm. I can acknowledge that for the lady watching her son's head get juggled, this is terrible for her. She's having the no, worst day of her life. No, I would say, like, using comedy to cut tension is a common use of comedy. Another one is using comedy in a way to, like, make you feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> that is true. I think that's an example. Another one is, like, I showed you it, but there's a lot of these. As anyone who's seen Killers of the Flower Moon knows what I'm talking about, It all of the comedy is based around fucked up people talking about the most fucked up things. And then you laugh. But then you're like, oh my god, I'm a piece of shit. I just laughed at a guy asking how he can kill two children and get away with it. I'm the worst. Or, oh my god, I just laughed at two guys arguing about how they fucked up a suicide, a faked suicide attempt. They made it look like shit because they didn't go between the eyes. <laughs> and it's all really funny scenes. But when you laugh, you're like, oh my god, I'm the worst fucking person ever. <laughs> yeah. Like, um... or like or like with Luffy, what it is is it's... It's kind of just something you see in, like, a lot of, like, funny series, which is, like, the tension and the comedy are happening at the same time. Yeah. Where it's, like, a serious scene also has funny things going on. Uh, but, oh, here's, here's a fun one, Puff. Uh, Acnologia getting, uh, getting motion sickness when he loses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, it's, it's, call- it's literally calling it's back to Natsu's primary, yeah. It's really calling back to Natsu's primary gag that just comes up, like, literally every arc at least once. And then also at the same time, we're, we're beating the final villain. Like, the final villain's being defeated right now as this is happening. We're like, you know, it, it's an incredibly hype scene, but it's also funny as fuck. And one isn't cutting out of the other. It's hilarious and awesome at the same time. And I feel like that's what Gear 5 usually is. Yeah. Like, uh, like uh, uh, spoilers, if I guess you haven't read the, the last chapter. Why the fuck would you watch these videos if you're not caught up? Um mm. That final spread of Luffy stanced up is one of the sickest things I've ever seen, but also he looks kind of stupid, and it's peak. Yeah. Like, he's got the tiny straw hat on the back of his neck. And he's making, like, a... Yeah, where it's, like, I assume you're going to put the... the, 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 the yeah, so we, yes, so we like, made a... Col- like, it just, like, like, it's really just, like, this little collage I made to, like, mirror this uh, this Twitter post I saw. We're like, ah, oh, mm-hmm. I have three serious Luffy faces here, and then three dumb Gear 5 faces here. Where it's, like, that just being disingenuous... Like, obviously, I'd say that there's some scenes that you should take incredibly seriously when you're looking yeah. at Gear 5. Like, oh, when yeah. he says Pedro's Wait, no, name. Oh, that's the other thing we need to bring up. With Luffy's power-ups, I would say, like, out of seriousness, I would say the most serious ones are Gear, F- are Snake Man and Gear 2. The anime actually added to Gear 2 by making Luffy turn fucking pink, which is funny. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas, yeah, I'll admit, Snake Man is... Uh, Real edgy. Like, like, edgy boy. Like, it's what everyone wanted Gear 4 to be. He still looks kind of dumb at times. It's mostly like, I think about what he's like huffing and wheezing and smiling while having his war god face. He looks really funny in the Katakuri fight. But then the rest, Gear 3, Looney Tunes, uh, Tom and Derry shit, you look dumb as hell. Bound Man is so funny and stupid. I know! Look at the proportions on that lad! (laughs) No, where it's like, when he turned into it, Dofi laughed and said, are you serious? I thought you had an actual plan. Bound Man looks fucking stupid. It's like it, it's oh, so dude, it does. Luffy, like I remember some people, uh, like I remember some people when they saw Bound Man for the first time hated it because they thought it was too dumb. Yeah, he's, I know. Oh, he's bouncing like an idiot. Why does he keep bouncing? It's like because it's Luffy and it's funny. All right, guys, let's just let's just like God form yeah. is also fucking hilarious. All right, guys, let's just zoom out for a second, okay? If you, like, took a picture of, like, Gear 5 and Gear 4, then went, like, to, I don't know, you went to work and asked your colleagues or, like, went to school or whatever and asked the kid who didn't like anime or your co-worker who doesn't like anime and said, which one of these forms is, like, cooler and junk? Uh, they will say those both look fucking stupid. <laughs> what the hell are you showing me? <laughs> yeah, well, like, mm-hmm. And, like, some would be like, oh, Gear 4 is cooler because black tattoos. And someone would be like, Gear 5 is cooler because white hair. <laughs> <laughs> Because they they're, they both look dumb. They look dumb, and that's good. Luffy has always looked stupid. Hey, but but it's, dude, 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 think about it, though. If Luffy has a smile on his face, I can't take the scene seriously. It's just all jokes and gaffes and and good times. Not not true. Because you yes, it's dumb. not it's not true because I'll, uh, there is a serious scene where Luffy's literally powering up in Gear Five, and he says like he's he's listing off like all the people. 
like you know who's helped him get this far and he says and pedro's he says name pedro, he smiles but it's a very like uh edgy man cool man badass smile yes and also like, like are, you, are you telling me i'm supposed to like see him talk about pedro's like a gag because he's in year five right now yeah or like i'm supposed like, to like on. see the whole bajrin gun like scene which was like like two no, whole no. chapters two straight yeah, chapters because the two bajrin gun things we've heard is either a uh, it doesn't uh, either a it is goofy which is a lie or two it doesn't count because uh, I think Remorse says it was only one chapter not true it was like two which is a very long time for one punch for the record that's a long time to be punching a guy yeah. and it, it was serious like literally like Luffy whole yelling at uh, yelling at Kaido about how he wants to create a world where his friends can eat as much as they want is like identical vibes to him fighting Dofi, and as he punches him, yelling, "Your strings are suffocating me." Yeah, it's like the same thing. And yeah, also same about about like the smiling vibe. point specifically, like, oh, if Luffy has a smile on his face, and like, what about the Arlong fight? Because like until like the very end, like Luffy was like throwing a bunch of smiles in the fight, and not just like, and I don't just mean when like he's doing the teeth gag or whatever. He also just did like when he says like, "Oh, I can't do like I can't use a sword, I can't navigate yeah, or whatever." Yeah, well, I, he then uh, smiles and you. says, "But I can beat you up." Yeah. Or like when he says like or like uh like I don't need like, teeth Luffy to cut a pillow. Likes fighting. Yeah. So he's like yeah he smiles more. The fights are goofier, but like I feel like it's just an extension of of Luffy's fights. I think the one fair point you can make is some vibes have changed. Where now when Luffy shows up, instead of it being like a righteous anger gear four, it's happy liberator gear five. Because I think what someone said is uh obviously this isn't fair because of like the weight of what was happening but uh compare luffy f uh seeing kinemon beaten up on the roof and being like uh, i'll fight for you kinemon and then doing the red rock uh compare that to like uh not gear four but still like a righteous anger thing and then compare that to vegapunk bleeding out on the ground luffy cackling and going sanji you got this and then like running at them but i feel like that's already been remedied because again this chapter luffy did the most metal face ever and said i'm not letting either of you escape <laughs> yeah the thing is that's the thing we, not only do we still have like gear four or like you know, just like gears two and three or whatever. Yeah, because he was using like Snake gear, Man against Kizaru. Yeah, but like gear five can also just like be serious, like when the author when wants Luffy it to be. Wants, uh, obviously, yeah, it's, like it's so like it's again, it's just like be a little flexible, guys. Like it, it it'll be mm -hmm. a bit more smiles and good vibes from here on out. But like, it, I'm pretty sure the story will be serious when it needs to be serious. I think yeah, Bajrangan like, is is proof enough of that. Yeah, it's it's fine. And, like, even then, like, when he was punching, when, like, yeah, during Bajran Gun, he was the warrior of liberation, but that was also clearly Luffy's righteous fury. <laughs> no. I don't think anyone would argue with that. I mean, yeah, we're kind of mixing our metaphors now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. Wow, Luffy can do multiple things at once? Who would have fucking thought? Yeah, I know it's impossible. <laughs> I've never seen it before right. in my life. Do I have anything else? Um, I think we have one more and then just uh, comments. All right, sweet. Uh, wait, no, 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 it's just comments now. Okay. All right, let's, all right, were there any all comments right. we cared about? So we, we, we got this, we got, yeah, we got this one long comment asking about three things. The first one was worst gen forms, which, uh, we looked into a bit, but just kind of seems like pirate folk talk, like, uh, um, nothing particularly, like, more, unique. It seemed more positive than pirate folk. Yeah. Like, it kind of reminded, like, you said it a lot, it reminded you a lot of Amino, right? But, no, I, it reminded me of, like, Amino discussions, where if I had to guess, I would say, if you're in the reads, Worst Gen Forums has some dumb, insane bullshit. But on the outside, you're like, well, it's, what the fuck is this? This looks normal. <laughs> yeah, like, so, like, if you're the guy who made that comment, like, and if there's something, like, specific about Worst Gen Forums, like, I don't know, like, maybe, uh like a certain like group of users or whatever or like a certain take that's floating around there like feel free to share it we'll we'll, we'll look into it yeah, more or just uh anyone else who knows what the worst gen form shit is about because like i checked it out and it just seemed like a basic one piece form to me with like mid theories and like power scaling yeah and right, then he said agendas yeah agenda I piece agree. this is agenda funny. piece is cringe i hate people who use that term I've always enjoyed it, just, like, watching, like, you know, like, sitting back and letting the fires go, you know? Mm -hmm. Just be like, ah, oh, dude, like, Dragon's gonna be the strongest character. It's like, nuh uh Like, objectively speaking, uh, he doesn't have any feats or whatever, but, like, Mihawk mm -hmm. is the strongest because he shanks his No, I, no I, I, think, I think the agenda piece thing is really funny, because anyone who says someone else has an agenda, because agenda just means bias towards a character you like, Yeah, just definitely bias towards their own character. Because here's the thing, if you say... 
uh, if you say people who like Shanks are agenda piecers, but then you pretend hockey man is a real term people use, That's you a... are you are your own bias idiot because no one says hockey man. That is true. Or like a, or like fucking, or like one we saw was like the guy who's like dragon is weak and uh, uh, and cringe, but then he ended it with being like, by the way, I fucking hate dragon. Why didn't he save Ginny? And it's like okay. <laughs> Is that it's how like, a yeah. top tier would act? He would let his friend die? I was just like, yeah, all One Piece fans are uh, biased in some way. And, like, that's that's normal. That's just human. Like, yeah, it's it's it can it be annoying? Yes, but it's in any fan base. For example. Yeah, it's kind of uh, just like, like oh, my so old. So sometimes I like it, sometimes I like it. Because I'll be honest, in 1107, when Zoro was cringing against Luchi, and Sanji was being <laughs> awesome <laughs> against Kizuru. <laughs> And everyone was making the obvious jokes you make there. I was having fun. I thought it was funny. No, I like the, that was yeah, funny. No, this is what I've always liked. I always liked watching... Every time a character stubs their toe, like, there'll be some oh. fans who are like, Yo, dude, look at this trash here. Like, it's oh, like it's Sanji and Zoro. Yeah, like, it even the... happened with, like, Sanji earlier when he... He intentionally let S Shark punch him in the face and beat S Shark. People are like, wait, Sanji has a scrape on his forehead. <laughs> He's cringe. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. He lost five HP. Oh no! <laughs> it's like I, 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 basically, if you take the agenda shit seriously, I can see why it would piss you off. But I think it's one of the few things in One Piece where I can genuinely just sit back and laugh. And how insane people are. I, mean, I feel like at worst it's just like what I said in like my old power skilling video on my main channel. Uh, it's just like, yeah, you know, the reason why people have been arguing for the longest time is just because the author hasn't like showed his hand yet. He's want, he wants to keep it as ambiguous as possible because all the answers are, are ambiguous at this point. Could a Kainu beat Kaido? I don't know. I, it's, it I don't could know. be. It wouldn't surprise uh, me either way. Oh, sure. I, I, just for fun, we can give our take there if that's rage bait. Uh, I think he can because I think uh, Sakazuki... Uh, it's just, fuck you. Uh, later, uh, later opponent, strongest marine. I bet he's stronger than. Kyle. Yeah, like that, that's just uh, that's kind that's of the rule of thumb I go by. It's just like if we're fighting him later, he's likely going to be stronger. Like, also so like exceptions, like Luchi is weaker than Foxy. Yep. <laughs> see, see, usually people say Foxy is weaker than Anel, but I inverted it. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or so some people disagree with it. Like a lot of people think Luchi was stronger than Moria, which isn't even <laughs> true. <laughs> Dude, if he's put in that black box and gets hit by Shadow of Asgard, he's not, get over he's not getting up. That box he's Shadow of Asgard is such an amazing combo. I know, like, it kills Zoro, it kills and Sanji. it's faster <laughs> than gear, too. You can't fucking dodge it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 what other comments were there? Uh, really? the, oh. the, that, oh, that same guy had a third one about, uh, like, how uh, a lot of people shit on Brook. And, like, to be fair... Like, if you had to pick a stride with, like, the least going on, it would be... It would be Brooke. It, it would be Brooke, unfortunately. No, because, but, uh, we've already said... I think we've already said my take on this before, which is, when Brooke gets good shit, that'll be awesome. But until then, I like what he's had. Uh, just his small moment, like, uh, like, his moments in the Robin fight were great. His moments in Whole Cake Island were great. Him mm. singing his stupid little song on Zoe was great. I like it. Yeah. I like that Brooke is just, like, a very... Like, whenever Brooke is added to a scene and does something, it's fun, and I like it. And I'll keep liking that until uh, we get, like, anything else. Yeah, until like, it's kind of like, like... Real Brooke like, shit. Like, I have my, my, my like, cope interpretation for Brooke, but, like, ah, he's... cope a... interpretation is terrible and, like, anti-Brooke, though. No, but it's cool. It's like, no, ah, it's anti-Brooke. No, it's like, ah, uh, because a musician isn't, like, like necessary for a pirate coup... Neither is Brook. He never like beats like a, like one of the top tiers of points that has to be taken down or anything like that. He's just fun to have and makes the journey that much better, which is why like he's like 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 ninety yeah, percent of his scenes are just like so fun, cool, cool gag stuff. The only stuff. position Luffy wanted. Yeah, no, like it is, and that's because it's the coolest position. And it's like, oh uh, yeah, if you can't enjoy the journey, no, why go on the journey to begin with? Where you call Brook a gad character because you've done that too. No, like like I just say that to like say like he's primarily just here to be a cool guy and to make everything else cooler. No, but Brook not necessarily. Brooke to do like good cool. scenes, and I'm okay he with probably that. will. And like one thing is like, oh, he hasn't had a good fight, which is like true, and it'd it be is nice true. if he did. But also, you can be a great character without having good fights. How do I know? All of Robin's best scenes, like okay, like the the power gap between when she fought what's his fucking name Yama or something Yama. in Skypea, and uh, her fighting Maria, 
all of Robin's best character development happened between those two fucking fights. <laughs> that is true. So clearly, you don't need a fight to be a good character, you, you stupid. Yeah, well, that's kind of yeah. where my co interpretation comes from. Like, oh, uh, yes, he'll never get, like, the crucial fight in an arc or whatever. But also, he will be there, and he'll comment in the background as, like, Robin does the nice. crucial fight. <laughs> and he'll just, nice. like, help her so out. So basically, uh, when Brooke does more, it'll be cool. But where he currently is, I like what he's doing. Mm, yeah. Pretty simple. What's, uh, uh, is there any other right. comments? This comment is a pretty good one. It's about, like, uh, the, this guy doesn't like when people say the world government is a direct allegory to any other, like, real yeah. world government he brings body. up both, uh... Uh, both uh, progressive readings and uh, evil readings. Progressive readings are like, uh, like one thing you see a lot in the, uh, like people will say uh, Fisher, Tiger, and Otohime are one-to-one -one, uh, black civil rights in America. It's fucking Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King. When it's like the Fishman Island play in general isn't supposed to represent one group. We yeah. only think that because it's the same thing as like Nolan. Uh, it's America brained. America brained, America brained. Like, I, like I've, I've seen a lot of people like draw like parallel parallels to like uh, Islamophobia with like uh, fish. Oh, I've Island seen that system. too. Yeah, which is cool because it's like, yeah, it's it's supposed to be broad. It's not supposed to just be about this one specific yeah. thing that happened in one yeah. country. That's, that's like the that's like the, a lot the of that's, that's the advantage. Yeah, that's the advantage of having it be fish people and not like african people or whatever <laughs> is that like yeah, yeah they could just yeah, it's you, like you, can, you can project fishmen all types of people yeah, onto them fishmen don't have any traits that like clearly code them as any specific race no because it's like they're like like where it's like uh because sometimes it'll be like a fictional race but they'll all have like black people hair and it's like okay so that's yeah. an allegory but it's like fishmen don't no <laughs> in fact fishmen one cool, one cool thing i like about the fishmen is that like they're almost like like sort of like biologically like it's kind of weird to say it like this but like biology inclined not to discriminate because of the way like their like offsprings work like oh you could mm -hmm. be like an octopus and like a shark or, or fish or man like, and then a puffer it's, fish I think will it's be more your like kid their biology leads to like yeah because their offspring because you can be an octopus is, and, is yeah. a random pokemon generator they're yeah. like less likely to judge appearances because it's like my kid could look like literally fucking anything and i think I that's know. cool it, 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 I could get a clown in their blood. I could get a manatee. It's not in their blood to be like non-racist. No. But it's like I, I, my kid could be a manatee or a puffer fish or a clownfish, and I'm gonna love him either way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's neat. And then he also brings up how you know there can be, be uh, or like they bring up how like the celestial dragons, people can uh, interpret them all. Like we saw some video who said, "Oh, the world government is a stand-in for the U.S. government and the U.S. medical system." It's like it's not. I mean, that, like, it's, it's kind of the thing where it's just like man lives in Japan. <laughs> yeah. And so just, like a, and like and like again like this is so like the social is so like outlandish and exaggerated forms of like uh like the rich like one percent or like whatever mm -hmm. else or like royalty stuff like that like you could like, you could, I, like I remember people are like oh man isn't uh, what happened to Laws Village a lot like insert horrific thing u.s government did it's like yes but it's also a lot like insert horrific thing any other big government has done <laughs> yeah like, like big governments do fucked up things so yeah again it's, like, it's like the thing parallels yeah and then yeah he also brought up uh, what do you think of people who complain the celestial dragons to jewish people it's like yeah that's anti-semitic and bad <laughs> yeah and it's just like the thing where just like one piece is just a story about how uh things people don't like about authority so like you, it, it will just pull like, and and most of the time, like what if say you don't like one thing about like a government or like a uh, your boss or the queen or whatever, like you can like roll it all up into one or the other one piece film. Like maybe it's Wapple, maybe it's Big Mom, whatever. Like yeah. they all represent like kind of differentish things, and like you could project whatever oh, differentish oh, things I, you want onto them. I comment from. 28 minutes ago asked if we have talked about gear 5 being a retcon yes <laughs> we have yes have we, we have <laughs> yeah. it's in the it's in the evil puff video with the worst audio it is yeah bad one? bad one piece opinions part three it's oh, the worst oh, audio is three as bad as one I th uh, it's worse than one i think okay what is so bad so it's actually crazy no Yikes! Don't don't watch it. The audio is terrible. Yeah, I, uh, but also watch it to find out about the. Are there any other comments? Thing. Um, I got check. I got one comment about how the social dragons are going to get genocided. Like oh, someone, right. like, like some people, like think like, that's going to uh, happen. Prob probably, like probably not. not. Or, yeah, 
I think what's going to happen to Celestial Dragons is a fascinating question because we know that if you just like kick them off the red line and let them roam free, they're gonna get genocided by just the public. Yeah. So it's like, do we throw them in jail for their own safety? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to them. I don't think they're gonna get genocided. Not just because I think that's unhinged, but because also I don't think. Mies de guard. Mies de guard was a good uh, guy. Mies de guard. I don't. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think that the big wholesome uh, battle, like the the biggest uh, go lucky cheerful battle shonen, would uh, end with uh, all the bad people uh, getting no, no, genocide. No, 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 dude, this Just... is what's good. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be like Vivi's gonna be like, you know, we shouldn't discriminate against the celestial dragons. Now that we've overthrown them, they could be on the same level as us humans. We don't have to genocide them. And then Kozuki Hiori will step up from behind mm. her, <laughs> push her to the side, and be like, no. They're going to burn today. <laughs> along, along with Tom. <laughs> they were all born to burn. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen to them. I'm pretty confident it won't be death. Oh, actually, no, we did get one really funny comment. Where it was basically people saying maybe the uh, the parallel chasers are like that because of Naruto. I don't think that's true. But I do think it's worth pointing out that parallel chasing in Naruto is way more respectable because the, because the trio of oh, yeah. uh, edgy guy... A stupid guy and girl. I say gr it's it's the girl, but usually that's also like the heart of the group, or like the one who tries to keep everything together, is applicable across so many fucking groups in the series. I know. Okay, so you have Naruto's the idiot, Sasuke who's the cool guy, and then Sakura who's the girl, and then you look at Kakashi's team. He's the cool guy. Obito's the idiot. Rin's the girl. You look at the Sanin. You got Jirai who's the idiot. Orochimaru is the cool guy. Tsunade who's the girl. Uh, and even among like the other like yeah the other things. Konoha eleven he, not a girl Kiba stupid Shino cool Shikamaru cool Kiba stupid uh, you know uh, you mean you mean uh, Choji stupid oh Choji stupid yeah Choji stupid or, yeah yeah or like <laughs> Lee stupid uh, Neji cool ten ten girl one of the exceptions is the Suna but that makes sense because uh, Gara is a is like an evil bad in Naruto so they yeah. don't get to have their fun goofy no, no, no. guy the thing, the thing is he's not a goofy guy but he's still an idiot because he is deranged and like yeah. unhinged no, and stuff. Like, so he can still like, like yeah, you can still sneak him under Naruto. that label you can sneak him under that label <laughs> so they're the edgiest team where it's just like yeah and like most of the, and those parallels uh definitely differ in meaning like with kiba it's kind of just funny that he wants to be hokage when he doesn't stand a fucking chance or it's like you know obviously naruto to obito is insanely meaningful <laughs> yeah or you can even point out small ones like how shikamaru and choji have such a good best friend dynamic compared to fucking naruto and sasuke <laughs> yeah or it's like yeah wow that's like, like again like the end of the series even like uh, does it a lot more where it's just like ah oh, yes you are literally the reincarnation of uh, Madara and Hashirama. Mm -hmm. You you are Indra and Ashura, and this yeah. has been going on for a long time. Oh oh, other other really funny one is the parallel thing is so obvious. Sasuke literally made his own parallel of his old team using people that he found. He's like <laughs> Karin, you're my new Sakura. Jugo, you're my new Naruto. And what's his fucking name? The water guy. I always forget his name. Sugetsu. You're the new me. <laughs> 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 it's it's uh. It's cool. It's basically just like, guys, you can parallel... Ch it's kind of funny. It's like, hey, parallel chasers. Go, like, go read Boruto and try to find those trios in Boruto. Please. It'd be so much cooler if you did that. Because <laughs> then I wouldn't have to deal with you saying that kid is Shiki, which offends me as a Shiki fan. <laughs> yes, you're literally speaking to one of the two Shiki fans on the planet. Don't uh, yeah. upset him. <laughs> yeah, you better step the fuck off. Uh... Otherwise, yeah, I think that's it. Hey, if you have any comments, comment them. We'll talk uh, about them. We do have the Mr. Like uh, Syndrome, if you want to talk about Mr. Syndrome. No, that's about fairy tale anyway. Okay, yeah. We okay. can talk about him later. Uh, no, hey, if you got, if you got comments, you can comment them. Because look, we've been, the last few episodes, we've gotten better at talking about them. Yay! Yay! So yeah, you got anything that you want to talk about? Remember, it doesn't just have to be One Piece. It can be most big battle manga. Except for Jujutsu. Because only yeah. I'm caught up with that. Yeah. <laughs> But anything or, or Black Clover, because Pop's not caught up with and, that. And don't, don't do Le Cirque de Karakuri, because Shiki hasn't read that. Also, I highly doubt anyone here has read it. <laughs> <laughs> it did, like, literally just get finished translating. Uh -huh. uh, so, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, thank you, you for watching. For One Piece or uh, like, any other big sub, battle show comment, in. stuff you want us to talk about. Oh, Yay. we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a fairy tale part two. If you got any fairy tale shit, help right. us out with that. Thing is, we were we actually, we, yeah, about. we were actually planning to do like a, like like that, like right after the first fairy tale video, but then Werb got nuked, and we were like, well, fuck, we want to shout out Werb and because he just got nuked, so let, let let's but let's let's yeah. hammer out a one bad One Piece opinion, get the news out there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get, the news out, get the news out to the 200 people who watch these I videos. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. No. It's not looking good. No. Yeah. All right. Well, no. that's it. Yeah, goodbye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah.